Hello everyone and welcome to my early look of the 2024 Cox Plate, looking at some key chances and discussing how they will go in the race. That man knows how to win them, so let's get straight on with it. We'll quickly take a look at the market for the big race and up the top Romantic Warrior is the $4 favourite ahead of Alligator Blood at $6, 7 for Victoria Road, $8 for Militarise and then $9 for three of them, Fangirl, Gold Trip and also Mr. Brightside. We'll start off by looking at the chances of Alligator Blood and this was his win in the Neds Martin Power Stakes at Caulfield on Caulfield Guineas Day. Proved all the doubters wrong that said he couldn't run 2,000 metres, he smashed it. After what was a frantic tempo set up by Deny Knowledge was able to sprint off that and win. Was getting tired late but was entitled to. It is a little bit of a step up in class facing, you know, the likes of Nonconformist, Just Fine and Bow and Declare and all them to superstars like Romantic Warrior and Victoria Road. Um, it's, he's probably going better than what he was last year. Last year he finished two lengths off him in the Caulfield Stakes. This year, he won the Caulfield Stakes by about a length or so. So he's probably improved a couple of lengths. He was good in the Cox Plate last year, going down by about two and a half. So that puts him in a good spot to be winning uh, this year, you would think. So Alligator Blood's a pretty good chance. We'll take a look at both Fangirl and Mr. Brightside together. Their runs in the Group 1 King Charles Stakes over the 1,600 metres on the Everest day. And my overrun also highlighted as well. Mr. Brightside, odd, oh... I think he started odds on favourite and had every possible chance and Fangirl gave it absolute wind burn. Uh, off this run, you'd probably say Fangirl's better suited stepping up to the 2,000 metres. Through the line, Fangirl was looking much stronger than Mr. Brightside. So, and Fangirl's suspect at 2,000 herself, so where does that leave Mr. Brightside? If I wanted to be confident about Mr. Brightside, he is going to want to have won there or finish within a length of Fangirl. Um, personally, I don't think that's the right form. I think there's stronger form lines heading in, but Fangirl won really well there. Um, and if it's all right at 2,000 metres, it'll run a very good race. We'll now take a look at the 2022 Melbourne Cup winner in Gold Trip. And this was its run uh, last start at Caulfield on Caulfield Cup Day in the Caulfield Cup behind without a fight. Very good run considering the weight it had to carry and probably should have finished closer to without a fight. It was getting bumped all down the straight. It wouldn't have tested the winner in my opinion, but it would have gone a little bit closer. Um, yeah, this horse with the weight was absolutely exceptional. Ran really well on the Cox Plate last year with um, moderate luck at best. So if you can get a good... The m most important thing for Gold Trip is that it draws a gate. Because if it draws back and has to go right back to near last, I don't think it can loop a field like this. But if it draws inside and sneaks that couple of pairs closer, it's right within striking distance and is a winning chance. How much that Caulfield Cup um, solidly run a mile and a half contest took out of its legs, I'm not sure. Um, but Gold Trip is a good chance in my opinion. We'll now take a look at the two three-year-olds, King Colorado and Militarize, coming through the Caulfield Guineas in a slow setup and win for Griff. Militarize was just impossible for this horse to win on this day. The headwind in the home straight and the slow tempo on speed dominated race made it impossible to win for Militarize. King Colorado battled on okay, but I'm happy to take Militarize out of this Caulfield Guineas run and say it's a better chance than King Colorado this start. I think it's imperative that Militarise draws inside so it can put itself in a position on speed where it's within striking distance of the leader when the race is on. Uh, I think that's its only chance of winning. This Corfield Guineas, this particular Corfield Guineas won by Griff, didn't rate as highly as what Animo produced in 2021 where it won the Corfield Guineas. And then it went on to narrowly go down to state of rest in the Cox Plate. So Militarise might have to improve, but... If it can put itself in a position, it's a good chance. We'll now take a look at the favourite Romantic Warrior and also Gold Trip come out of this Turnbull Stakes run uh, in a race where it's produced some pretty decent form so far. West Wind Blows narrowly going down in the Caulfield Cup and Gold Trip a good run in the Caulfield Cup as well. So this form line is valid. Now Romantic Warrior, to be honest, I was expecting a little bit more and I know it was fresh and it probably needed the run. But Gold Trip gave it absolute wind burn, and on this day, Gold Trip was only second up as well, so it probably had some improvement to come heading into its next start. So I would have liked to send a bit more of Romantic Warrior, um, but we know what it can do. It's put the ratings on the board that could well bolt in this Cox Plate, but I just would have liked to have seen um, 
a bit more first up in the Turnbull, and considering it's favourite, and I think there's some really good chances in the race that aren't Romantic Warrior, I think he's slightly unders. The last horse we're going to take a look at is the Import Victoria Road for Aidan O'Brien. This was its run in the Group 2 Dunningham Park Stakes at Leopardstown. This was won by Flight Plan, leading all the way. I really like Victoria Road's run here. Was strung up in behind them for most of the straight. Um, and once it got clear towards the line, it was powering and showed that this run over 1,600 metres, it was looking for the 2,000 metres, and it's what it gets in the Cox Plate. This was on the 9th of September, so it's had a six-week freshen up heading into this run. Um, I'm sure Aiden O'Brien would have kept it up to scratch. Would really like to see this horse go well tomorrow morning when they do breakfast with the best. If it has a track gallop, would like to see it go quick so that I know that it's fit and it's forward for the Cox Plate. So that's what I'll be looking out for. And if it draws a gate, it's going to be my on top selection. So... Victoria Road I really like. We'll now take a look at my seeds pre-barrier draw for the Cox Plate and I really like Victoria Road here. I think the import can cause um, an upset to the favourite in the Cox Plate on Saturday. Second miller to rise, I just think getting in with the lightweight really suits this horse and it's a multiple group one winner so I have to put it in there as a three-year-old. Gold trip I think if the Caulfield Cup run hasn't taken too much out of it, it's going to be a really good chance, especially if it draws a gate. And Romantic Warrior, I think, can win, but slightly under the odds at the moment. Thanks for tuning in to my early look at the 2024 Cox Plate. My runner-by-runner -runner preview should be out tomorrow.